Hi everyone, this is Ashley. Welcome to Octopus Web Scribing Case Tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to scribe YouTube videos information from YouTube. Before we get started, open YouTube.com on a web browser. Tap in the keyword you need. In this case, we're looking for videos about web scribing. After the page finishes loading, copy this URL. This is the URL we will use in the demonstration. Step 1. Enter the URLs of the website you would like to scrap. View the new task by clicking Advanced Mode and enter the URL we just copied. Then click Save URL on the left corner. This will bring you to the YouTube listing page with Octopus Building Browser. Step 2. Create a pagination loop. After the web page complete loading from Octopus Building Browser, you can see the interface is divided into three parts. The workflow box is on the left, the setting area on the right, and the interactive view of the website on the bottom. Let's switch off the workflow and take a closer look at the web structure. YouTube applies infinite scrolling, which means the website paging with automatic display of the content from the next page by adding to the current page. This is a typical Ajax technique. We will get into this later. So let's turn the workflow back on to continue. Since YouTube applies an infinite scroll, we don't need to create pagination. Instead, we tell the Octopus keep scroll down until the desired amount of the content are loaded up. To do this, go to the setting area. Check the scroll down option and set the scroll times. Depends on how many YouTube videos you would like to scrap you may change the scroll times accordingly. Let's say there are around 25 videos before any new content is loaded. And there are 25 new videos added each time you scroll down to the bottom. In order to get 100 pieces, you need to scroll three times in this case. Now, you need to set the interval time depends on the website's loading speed. YouTube is fairly fast, so let's set 2 seconds, considering the videos may affect the loading speed. Click OK to save the step. Step 3. Create a loop item. To click through each detail page, get a detailed information, we need to create a loop item. To create a loop item, select the element, in this case the video name from the listing. Click the first title. You will notice other similar elements has been found and highlighted in red. We want to create a loop item with all listings. Follow the guide, choose Select All. Now, all results are highlighted in green, which means they have been successfully selected. Then click, loop click the selected link to create a loop item. Octopus will click through each video for detailed information. But we still need to go back to the setting area and adjust the setting. As YouTube applies Ajax, select Ajax load option and set the wait time accordingly. If you want to know more about Ajax, you can check this video right here. I have also attached the tutorial below for your reference. In this case, 2 seconds. And check Auto Retry. Auto Retry and Ajax is mutually exclusive. Make sure you set this correctly. Click Save to save the steps. Now, we need to come back and check if things have been set as expected. If the web page in the built-in browser shows the corresponding reaction as we click through each step, it means the setting is correct. Step 4. Data Extraction Now, we need to select the extraction field. To extract the data, click the element, for example, in this case, the video title, and select the extract text of selected element from Action Tip. You can preview the extraction from the data fields and edit. Repeat above steps and get the data extracted. Click Save to save the step. Now, go back to the setting area. 
set wait before execution as two seconds from the advanced option. This is because Octopus scrap too fast, even faster than the actual web pages. Octopus finished scrapping current page and is ready to scrap the next page, but the web page is still loading for the rest of the information. The lagging causes Octopus to scrap the whole page again. Until the current web page is ready to paginate, set the wait time before execution will minimize the repetitive scrapping. Step five: Run the task and get the data. After setting up the rules, we can run the task by clicking Start Extraction, then select Local Extraction to run the task. Thanks for watching. Please leave us a comment down below if you have any questions.